This is our new Model 3 and I'm just going to show you how to deal with the brake fluid low warning that comes on on these sometimes. Um, it's as a result of the ABS pump spinning up and sucking some fluid out of the reservoir and the brake uh, pads starting to bed in and the calipers therefore um, taking a little bit of brake fluid out of the reservoir. So um, the level drops a bit and you get the warning. It's not usually an issue but you may want to deal with it uh, by going through Tesla service. So the first thing you need to do is to, if you get the warning, is open the front trunk and then you need to, to take out this panel here, which simply pulls out like this. You just pop it out like that. And underneath you will see um, various things. That's the air intake for the uh, cabin heater and cooling. That is the brake fluid reservoir, which we're going to look at in more detail. And there's the battery and there's your screen wash. Now the uh, cap on here says warning, clean filter cap before removing, use only DOT3 or DOT4 fluid from a sealed container. So that's what we've done today. This is the brake fluid I got from Halfords in a sealed container. There's far more in here than you're going to need. So even the tiniest bottle will, will top this little uh, tank up and you unscrew the cap and the fill level is literally to the bottom of this filler neck here, this bit. So it needs to be full right up to where it is, where you can see it in the picture here. Literally fill level to as where you can see it here. There's the fluid in the bottom of the neck. And that's it. And you shouldn't get the warning anymore. Um, you can call a ranger if you're worried about it and get them to come out and do it for you. That is what I did in the end because I didn't know whether it was just this or there was uh, more to it than that, like tightening up some unions or doing a software reset or something like that. But apparently it's just slightly low level in the tank. Brake fluid is quite corrosive, so you want to make sure you haven't spilled any on any of the metal work down here. Uh, and if you do, wipe it up and then wash it off with lots of soapy water. Then when you've done that, all you need to do is put this panel back. It just pops back into place. You'll hear the clips. If it's in the right place, it will click back into place. You can line up these clips here to start with and just pop them all in. Oh, that's not going back in for some reason. Why is that? There we go. That's it. And it's important to fit this in because it stops water getting into the frunk. So it's got to be fitted in properly. But that's all there is to it, it's just pressed into place. And you're done. You can then close your frunk and forget about the warning messages.